Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of LJ Law, Family Law TV. I am Bonnie Leonardo, your host. Today's question comes to us from Marisol, and she wants to know, can her husband be made to pay for her legal fees in their divorce? Before I get started with that question, I want to remind you that if you have questions about this topic or any other family law topic, please don't hesitate. Go to VegasDivorceMeeting.com, and I'll be more than happy to sit down with you to discuss your particular situation. So Marisol is uh, in the process of uh, filing for divorce and uh, she is struggling financially and wants to know if her husband can be made to pay for her legal fees. Um, what I explained to Marisol is in my firm, we always, always ask for the other party to pay for attorney fees, but this is um, awarded solely by the judge and the judge will t take a look at different factors in making that decision. So generally speaking, each spouse in a divorce or a custody case or any legal uh, case is expected to be responsible for paying their own legal fees out of their own resources. However, there are instances when one party is not um, as financially privileged as the other and therefore there might, it may necessitate the other party um, paying for those fees. We ask the court in a motion to um, see if the other party will pay for the fees and the court looks at factors such as one the income of the parties is the is the income uh, earned by both parties such diff so different and the discrepancy so great that one party is making significantly more money than the other or one party was a stay-at-home person and the other will continue to work during the marriage and that second party does not have any means to pay for the matter in, in court. The court looks at that. The court will also look to see if one spouse has control of all the financial uh, institutions, such as bank accounts, credit cards, any means of financial, uh, in fa financial way that a party can pay uh, is controlled by one party, thus the other party is at a disadvantage and is not able to pay for their legal matter. And the third thing that the court might look at is is the party filing uh, for the divorce, for example, in this case, acting in good faith? Are they doing this? Is this a real um, case that needs to, is a, that has merit? Is, um, is the party dragging out the case to force the other party to incur additional and unnecessary legal fees? The court looks at all three factors and possibly more in an effort to keep the parties in equal footing. Everybody must be as equal um, in their representation as possible to make it a fair, uh, a fair legal matter. So the court will look at all that to make sure that both parties are on an equal playing field. And if it finds that it necessitates one party paying for the legal fees of the other, the court will order that, but if, after looking at different factors. So I hope Marisol that this has answered your question. Um, if you have further questions and want to discuss this further, please go to VegasDivorceMeeting.com. I'll be more than happy to sit down with you to discuss this further. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you know somebody who can benefit from this information, please don't hesitate and share this video with them. And as always, I want to thank you for tuning in and I will see you next time.